Hello everyone, I am Laurie here and I am very excited and happy to share these fun tips with you. Tips to use these amazing new products, exclusive products on the, in the, that you can find in the main kit, Kavalo kit. Uh, it's very, very adorable. So hello, welcome to this video. This is a little video to share with you uh, some little tips to use this kind of product. Okay, so let's start with some tips that you will see in my in some of them of my finished pages uh, in uh, of this mini album. Okay, so let's start. Okay, first technique is um, use this kind of uh, um, of product, this Dauber ink with the, the um, Studio Calico masks. Okay, here you can find um, an example that I have made before. This says so using these masks and simply coloring around the space, you you create some amazing background with different kinds of um, masks. The Studio Calico masks are really perfect for this uh, adorable ink. Okay, and simply I have to, um, remarked the, the, um, the stencils, the masks, with a pencil. So very easy and fun. Okay, so this is the first tip. Second tip is, um, sorry, second tip is to create a frame with your, um, with your Dauber ink. I have just uh, make, just place my photo in the center of the, the page and just make some lines, the frame of the, of my uh, picture. Why? Because I want to, uh, create a, a place for my journaling so I'll write with my uh, my uh, precision pen some journaling about the page for example this could be a background for your um, layout so you can simply write your journaling and if you want uh, make the same in all, all all over around the picture and uh, or if you want add some little stamps so this is very very easy okay third technique the third technique is to create some circles so a little frame, a little circle frame, uh, where you can add all your mm, embellishments and pictures or just to create uh, some cool after effect for your uh, photo. So simple, simply, very, very simply make drops, make dots, okay? And you can um, mark uh, you can mark them, these dots, with nail colors too that I really, really love, or with gelatos. In this, in, in this, just in this case, I used uh, nail colors because they are they have uh, this kind of uh, shape that is uh, better to mark little spaces. So in this way, if you want, add the little pops of colors. And as I have done before with this sample, you can use a water brush and simply coloring. So you will add some pops of colors to your circles, and it's very cool. Very, very cool. So this could be another tip to use uh, the ink dauber. Okay, and then tip 
4. You can create a tone on tone, um, a tone on tone uh, background for your page. Uh, because with this sponge that is a circle sponge, uh, sponge you don't have to use it just for the circles but also for the squares if you want and add some pops of colors using not just nail colors but uh, the gelatos too as well so what I have made to create this effect is is just to take a uh, take my bra my ink dauber and color me create paint my squares wherever I want it's really fun easy and I find it relaxing oh yes you can create your own squares or rectangles as a, as you like and when uh, and add some pops of, of uh, gelatos colors to mark the squares use your water brush to mix the colors together and with your hot gun you can dry all the colors to just have this kind of effect so it is completely dry and when it's dry when it is it, when it is dry really dried you can use your favorite um, inks from the color theory I used uh, something blue and make a tone on tone technique effect with my stamps so very very easy to use and to um, to create a background so easy okay or again fourth tip is to use again the circle shape of this sponge so create a background in the center of your page like this making many dots all together close one to the other one now, with your hot gun, dry it. okay and now with my new color I make some random circles here and there mix with the jade the jade one yes And then, and then we with my water brush, simply this way. So to create very very funny backgrounds, it's adorable. Yeah, and now again, I want to use my stamps my stamps from Marilyn Adon that is really really adorable to again tone on tone technique with something blue ink pad of course the background has to be really really uh, dried okay so this could be a lovely effect for your page and 
and and and again another kind of effect could be this one use your masking tape or one of your uh, washi tapes and okay in this way oh sorry for the angles for the corners I'm sorry for the corners of your uh, page or card or project life card whatever you want so the corners has to be similar oh yeah again here and again here voila okay and now simply color your corners in this way and let them dry you can use it just for the corner of your pages it will be really precise or you for example can use oh I'm sorry can use um, you can use the your mm, pen your journaling pen it's okay the last one so this is these are the corners of your page that you can use just to embellish your page or to write your journaling and the last uh, tip for today is using modeling past and coloring it uh, with the ink dauber so this will be the final effect that you will have and here I have just used the uh, mm, oh my god okay I have ju just used the uh, mm, stencil uh, you can use also the masks but uh, I think it's better the stencils and just add some modeling paste using your palette knife your knife from Teresa Collins that you can find in the shop and simply uh, yes you have to let uh, the modeling pass dries and once it's dried completely dried you can color it with the ink dauber so as you can see this is the the modeling paste uh, that I really love lately because you can uh, really create all the effects and backgrounds that you want uh, and so mix many medias together like uh, gelatos like new colors and this fabulous ink so this will be the final effect uh, that you have to uh, when you uh, have, will color everything you can add for example some uh, inks some uh, stamps also here if you want like this one okay i'm using i'm making just a try oh also this one with the something blue something blue ink pot and that's it let it dry or dry it with your hot gun it's better to stop your ink and I think it's really perfect so uh, there are a lot of ways you can use this ink dauber it's really really easy I hope you like this video and uh, if you have any questions please don't hesitate to contact me to email me 
and uh, hope my voice how it has to have been so my voice has, has been so so uh, funny for you and uh, hope you uh, listen yours and read your comments and uh, your questions okay oh I want to say a big thank you guys Bye-bye!